Coming up, we've got some brand new headphones from V Moto. Joanne Tech Lover is back with some gaming gear. We gave Chad a whole bunch of iPhone cases. He'll pick his favorite. And I've got a review of the latest stuff from Motorola. Yes, the Moto X and the Hint are here. It's time to watch before you buy. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Before You Buy is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Before You Buy is brought to you by The Books. Beautiful, affordable flowers grown on an active volcano and shipped for free for 15% off your first bouquet. Visit thebooks.com slash twit. And don't forget to use the code twit at checkout. That's T-H-E-B-O-U-Q-S dot com slash twit. Use the code twit to save 15%. Welcome to Before You Buy, the uh, Twit product review show where we get the latest and greatest stuff. We give it to our friends, our family, our hosts, and let them bang on it and give us a real-world review of it. Uh, Mike Elgin is here. He is the news director at uh, Twit, uh, the host of TNT. Are you, Mike, a uh, headphone junkie? I am. I love them. Me too. I like good ones, and there aren't a lot of good ones out there. There are a lot of expensive ones, but a lot of them kind of suck. That's a really good point. Yeah. It's become... Such a profit center for companies because you can make headphones inexpensively. Right. And with the proper marketing, people will buy them for hundreds of dollars. That's right. <coughs> Beats. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So this is V-Moto. They've been around for That's a right. while. Right. I've actually had a lot of different V-Moto earbuds, but I've never tried yep. the... These look like the big, big boys. These are. Now, this is the V-Moto Crossfade M100 uh, unit here. These are for professional DJs. Oh, look at that. But don't be intimidated because if you're not a professional DJ, you may want these anyway. Now, these are... Uh, both of a kind. That's why we're reviewing them both together. Okay. But if you see the first immediate thing that you notice is this. They snap in. That enables them to go in this very small case, right. which is very convenient. With now, a carabiner so you can hook it to your Exactly. Belt. This is some macho Batman stuff right here. Yeah, it looks um, like it, actually. I, I really love the look of these. Yeah. Um, now th these have replaceable. These plates can be replaced. And I want to show you something. Now, this is the V-Moda XS. XS for extra small. These are for consumers... And so on. And these well, the have the teeny whiny yes. little thing. Yes. Oh, so oh wait check a that minute. Out. How'd you get the Twit logo on there? They sent this to us as an example of what they can do. For $25, they'll send you two plates, laser engrave it, any color, different textures, all kinds of stuff. Wow. But how cool is that? What a great bribe. I guess we can't send them back now because they're now, they, they've now <laughs> been customized. No, we will, though. And I don't know what they're going to do with them. But okay, so. Wait a minute. This is a, so this is not just a sticker or it, it's, it's kind of like it's painted it's on. A it's a laser engraved wow. plate. And essentially, if you're going to get this for yourself, you would upload your graphic. I and love this, actually, because nobody's going to steal your headphones. That's right. Isn't that and great? these are these feel nice. They're metal, and I want to show you something. I was going to uh, keep this uh, later on, but see see this thin metal here. Yeah. Try to bend that. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Uh, it just bends like Karsten, an iPhone six. Karsten will pay for it out of his own money if something happens no, to it. No, it's pretty tough. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Now this has a, a spring loaded hinge here that that enables this sort of feature. Super tough. This is like really a high quality uh, device right here. It's it's just the, the build quality on this is absolutely That's fantastic. That's fairly important because headphones yes. do take a beating. You know, um, I, I'm, I I think I buy one for my son every year. Me too. He just destroys them. Me too. Um, don't tell him, but this is going to be his next pair, and I'm going to see if he can destroy them. Now, I'm guessing he won't be able I'm, to. I'm picking up on one thing. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be a wire on those. There are wires, and I, I didn't add them immediately because I wanted to point out the fact that this particular uh, pair, again, the, the uh, M100, the Crossfade M100, comes with two different ones. Now, they both come with this orange cable. This is Kevlar cable with gold-plated uh, items on the end. It has a microphone like you can use and it this, in your phone. This is nice because it won't tangle as he's, as readily, right? That's right, yeah. and, and it's very nice. Now, th this is a, you know it, pretty much what you'd expect. Now, this is the professional DJ cab <laughs> cable, six feet long. Wow. And it has an extra little sort of plug-in at the end so two people can listen at once. They also have accessories on the website you can order you can order what uh, what they call the, the coil cables that D someday DJs like. Um, v Moda says that these are better for DJs, but you know it's a difference of opinion. Uh, but these are again, these are highly. Uh, Does it come with both? The this pair, the, oh, the, the high end pair, comes with both. Comes with the black. Oh, it comes with both. This one comes only with the, the consumer ones okay. that you use with your phone or whatever the device is. Uh, these are Kevlar reinforced cables. Uh, this is called their Speakeasy cable, which is really really nice. 
Um, both of them, you know, just are very convenient. They roll up and then they're a little inside the case. There's a little uh, containers here where you can put the, the cables, which is very nice. So we're focusing a lot on style, design, durability, but really right. you buy headphones because of how they sound. That's right. Now, now V-Moda, if people who are, you know, uh, uh, headphone junkies know that V-Moda have always had pretty good sounding headphones. Mm -hmm. They tended to be super bass heavy. They tended to uh, sacrifice a lot of the low end and mid range, especially at high volumes right. uh, for that big heavy bass. These, according to me, and also according to a lot of reviewers, uh, are the first set, both of these, where they have really amazing low-end bass with no uh, downside in terms of the, the, the mid-range, the low-end. And even if you, you can turn it up to the point where it's completely destroying your hearing and it's clear, there's no rattling, there's no buzzing, there's no problems at all. It's super amazing That's sound good. quality. That's really good. Fantastic sound quality. So, um, so again, this this is a this is a really great uh, set of uh, um, try them on because yeah, comfort is also that's an issue right. For me. Now, this is a this is something where they're sort of in the middle. They're not the most comfortable. They're not uncomfortable. They're pretty. I would say that they're pretty good. Uh, and again, it depends on you know the, where yours are, the size of yours, shape of your well, these ears, aren't and so bad, on. Though. Yeah, they're not bad. They're if not I bad. If I had big ears, they might protrude into the cubs. But uh, right, but they on my ears, which aren't small. It covers them completely. Now, these are DJ headphones, so the other test is to put them around your neck and see how those are. Some have complained about them. I find them very comfortable around the mm, neck. Mm. You know, they can, they're they kind of like, you know, some people have said that the metal sort of, and that didn't don't bother me Don't you do, when you're a DJ, don't you do one ear? You, yes, you do. Yeah. Now, you'll notice, now, now if you if you look carefully <laughs> at the bottom, now, both of these sets of headphones have something really cool that is, is very convenient, but it makes a lot of sense for the DJ model. They have... Options you can put the, you can plug it in on the left or right. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I really like that. That's right, and especially for DJs, they're right. going to always have the cable going off in one direction or the other, and they want to be able to choose. You want it to be near the on the equipment side. Exactly, and it depends where the equipment is. That's right. But but there, there are definitely discrete left and right cups, but but you can plug into either one. That's correct. And then there's a sort of a thing that plugs the one that oh, you're not that's using. So great, which is very very nice. Pretty good noise isolation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Passive, which is good because they don't oh need batteries, yeah. right? There's a little bit of sound leakage. People uh, who are nearby can hear what you're listening right. to. doesn't bother me that much. I'd rather have passive uh, uh, isolation. I actually wear most of the time kind of not, not op well, yeah, open, open air headphones because yeah. they're, they're often better for That's bass. Right. And then also you can hear if somebody's you know, screaming, watching, at, screaming you. at you. Screaming at you, Yeah. Right. Now, one of the cool things about this company is that both like of that. these headphones have a two-year warranty. You can test drive it up to 60 days. That means within 60 days, you can return it for a full refund, no questions asked. And they also have another great policy where if they get destroyed, if, if you run over it with your car or whatever, they, your next pair is 50% off. So this is really, you know, those are very nice features, I think. I think So the pros essentially are amazing sound quality, incredibly solid construction. I like the looks of them. Some people won't like this. Uh, uh, look, uh, but I, I personally like them. They're pretty comfortable. And another thing that they've done to improve this is you notice how this is kind of like the top of this is kind of egg-shaped. It's not roundish. It's egg-shaped. So these are close to the head. So when you put these on, they're not sticking way out like some headphones do. They pretty much stick to your head pretty closely, and that's that's a pro, I think. The cons are they're pretty expensive. Now, the, the uh, V-Moda Crossfade M100s, the big ones, are $310. Okay, that is not cheap, but I think it's worth the money for people who really care about sound quality. And the XS version is two hundred and twelve dollars for a consumer uh, set of headphones. That's pretty expensive as well. So they're you know price is a I think a con for a lot of people. Um, if you can't tell the difference between a hundred dollar pair or a fifty dollar pair of headphones and the three hundred dollar headphones, you're right. You should get the cheap ones. Yep. But good headphones. That is not a, a huge price for, for excellent. Headphones. Exactly. Especially nicely built ones. Yeah, absolutely. So buy, try. It sounds like you're going to say a buy. Huh? Absolutely. Buy. In fact, yeah. I think I will buy. Ah. I mean, these are really, really great products. I really like these. And I have the feeling that Carson and Tanya are finally trying to get, you know, because I'm, I'm pretty negative on a lot of products. I have <laughs> trying to give I, you something you'd try like. To have, yes. They tried to finally give me something that I absolutely would love, and I absolutely do love these. I really like these. These are great headphones. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to everything across the board. I liked a lot of, like, uh, when I'm working, I like to listen to dubstep. What? It's great to listen to while you're working because it's kind of it's kind of generic, but it's also kind of energi energizing. Okay. So I like a lot of electronic. I was going to say Baroque, <laughs> classical, but dubstep, huh? No, no, EDM, huh? No, I like Latin music. I like world mm. music, African music. And uh, these jazz. all sounded good. Fantastic. I listened great. to, I, I sought out some really high quality uh, digital audio 
and you know classical music to the whole the whole line it's right. really really great sound quality v moda and what is the what is the uh... crossfade m100 is the big one for djs and the v moda xs for consumers a buy from mike elgin absolutely on tnt next thursday big apple announcement we think not official as we record this right but i think we better uh, i better think we be better plan to be sitting at this table right i think 10 we better Pacific time this morning. Hey, you've seen perhaps before on uh, previous episodes of Before You Buy, Joanne, tech lover. She doesn't work for us, but she's great. We love her. She's a YouTube star, and she's also really good on the gaming gear. That's why we gave her the Rocket Sense gaming mouse pad and the Rocket Cone Pure Gaming Mouse, the latest versions. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Joanne for Twit.tv, and today I'll be covering the Rocket Cone Pure Camo Charge Gaming Mouse and Rocket Sense Gaming Mouse Pad. Let's take a look at the Rocket Sense Camel Charge Gaming Mouse Pad first. Here's what it looks like. Very cool. Got the Rocket logo right there and uh, some uh, FPS, what are those like headshot counters over there? Very cool. Love the color as well. And it does measure 400 millimeters by 280 millimeters, which is like 15.7 inches by 11 inches. And it's actually very thin at two millimeters. For reduced friction, there's a microcrystalline coating bonded with the cloth and you can kind of feel it. And once I flip it over to the base, it's just all textured rubberized finish. And here's a look at what comes with the mouse. So you get this installation guide. You also get braided cable so it's very durable with i believe usb 2 connector you get seven programmable buttons on normal mode because there's also an easy ship feature that comes with this cone pier so you get one two three four and five buttons and the scroll up scroll down those are additional buttons so that would be seven buttons right here that you can program in normal mode but left and right you cannot reprogram now if you set let's say this button to easy shift then once you hold it down you can access a whole number of other commands and of course this is uh, once it's easy shift it's not programmable and then you would get one button two three four five six seven eight programmable button. So in Easy Shift, you can program your left and right clicks. And there you have it. Now here's a look at the LED on the mouse. Nice logo right there. And you can change it to whatever color you want. Keep it breathing like this or static or off if that is what you prefer. Here's where you go to download the Cone Pure Military software for the mouse. Make sure you download this specific one because I've tried Cone Pure and it just would not load any settings onto my mouse. So there you have it and click the download link right here. Now here's a look at the Cone Pure software. We're in the main controller. We can change up all of these options here like sensitivity and uh, your DPI switcher. Um, so you have five DPI settings that you can change. You can either move the bars here or you could go ahead and click the arrows, or you can unlink it and change the independent uh, XY DPI, uh, XY axis. Now let's link it once more, and here's a cool thing. If I change the DPI. 1,600 DPI. Do you see how it talks to you? How cool is that? Okay, and make sure that once you change any settings, you have to hit apply. Alrighty, let's go on to button assignment. This is where you will be able to change your uh, buttons to macros or a timer or sensitivity or easy aim, anything that you want. Now for advanced controls, that's where you get any angle snapping. You also get sound feedback. You can turn it off if you want, uh, pointer speed, reset, and then color options. If you don't like the color that it comes with, go ahead and pick the color that you want and then hit apply. You can also have your LED in the mouse breathe or have full light. Now rad is just a fun way of keeping track of your mouse skills. So once you hit a certain milestone, it would be like, hey, guess what? You're awesome. <laughs> well, not exactly. And last but not least is update support. Let's take a look at the pros and cons. Let's start off with the Rocket Sense gaming mouse pad. I do love that it is large, a little bit longer than what I'm used to. Um, however, do love that it's thin and it's easy, great, easy to pack away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and boom, 
roll it away. You do that with your clothes, right? Um, and also, it does track very well. It's smooth. And now for the mouse. I really like that you do get some LED here. Not every gaming mouse has that. And you can change the color of the LED, so it's very customizable. Also, I uh, love that you can get seven buttons you can program on normal. And with the easy shift, you get an additional eight. So that's a lot of uh, button assignments for you. However, I do think that this is more for FPS gaming than MMO because these buttons are really either to change my profile or change my DPI um, and do like the construction, love the braided cable, also the uh, soft touch finish. Just feels good in the hand and it's perfect, perfect for claw grip, especially for my small hands. I can't find too many mice that are great for that. And now for the cons. I don't like that when you do profile change or DPI change, um, you can do it on the fly, but there's no LED to tell you, by the way, you're on this one. Although what's good is you can get your mouse to talk to you like, this is 1600 DPI. Oh, however, you know, that might be kind of annoying if you're in game or whatnot. Um, and, you know, there's really not too much uh, bad to say about this, but this is definitely more for FPS than for MMO. I have to have my thumb panel here with at least six buttons, especially for World of Warcraft. But um, it's, it's pretty versatile. It's more than just FPS, but I would say more for shooters. So for the mouse pad, is it buy, try, or don't buy. I would say if you have an optical mouse and you play lots of shooters, buy. However, if you have a laser mouse, uh, I would advise against it. Hard plastics would be much better for that. As to the mouse, I would probably say buy. I just, I love how it feels in the hand and it's just, it's perfectly lightweight. It moves across the mat so well and I mean, it's it's good quality. You know, you can feel it normally. And there's so many features in the software. You can fine tune your mouse to like perfection. And all of those, you know, preset profile mac. I mean, not profile game profile macros that you get. That is insane. I mean, you can make your own, but why not just pick the ones they made for you? Well, that covers it. This has been Joanne for Twit.tv, and hopefully you enjoyed this look at the Rocket Sense mouse pad, as well as the Rocket Cone Pure gaming mouse. Uh, thank you, Joanne. Joanne Tech Lover. You'll see her on YouTube and uh, from time to time on uh, Before You Buy for her reviews. Somebody you cannot miss in our studios, the old Redham himself. Mr. Chad Johnson. OMG, Chad. It's because I'm so good looking, I'm sure. He's a good looking. You are a good looking fellow. It's not anything else. You don't need the red to attract attention, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt. So this is ridiculous. So the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus came out just a couple of weeks ago. And as usual with Apple, they don't. I asked, once asked a guy at Griffin, mm -hmm. uh, do you get advanced this company. notice? Yeah. They make, they've been making Mac accessories and, and, and iPhone accessories as long and iPod accessories as long as they've been around. Uh, do you get advanced like copies? He said no. You'll you'll notice that on every single one of these cases, it does not say the iPhone six and six plus. They don't know. It says the iPhone four point seven or the iPhone right. five point five. That's not because the design of the case was done at, before right. the phone came out, but the box packaging was. Right. Obviously, they have to wait till the phone comes out, and you can just imagine kind of the rush to get the get the phone back to the factory and test the molds and see is it fit? Yes. Does it work? Yes. So, so these are the first batch of cases. We have, they may not be the best. Yeah, ever. we have over eight cases to get through today. Uh, you have an iPhone 6. I have an iPhone 6 Plus. If you want to, you can play around with the cases I now talk this, about. Now, this so. looks a lot like an OtterBox, but this is also from Griffin. Right, this is from Griffin. This, this is their is, Survivor. This is their Survivor All-Terrain series. They have a few different lines. So this is the Survivor line. This is the highest-end line of the Survivor series. The iPhone 6 Plus case costs $60.00. And the iPhone 6 case cost $50. This is a new game show on Twit where we try to ra we race each other to we, figure out how to get something in absolutely. the Absolutely. See, I had to watch you because I had no idea that the thing is to take that off. I've had, I've had experience with uh, all these Jeez. cases. So we've gotten in so many cases, actually. I should mention that... Um, that I didn't look at all these. I gave these out. Anthony reviewed some. Oh, Needles reviewed some. So you're gonna do Eli a... even reviewed some. He never come back with the case. So I have his notes, but I don't actually have the case, the case. here. So we're gonna have Eli to show. Eli kept it. He's a high school kid. He right. needed the money. Yeah. Right. So first, the first thing I want to mention is uh, uh, there's you know six points where you lock this case in uh, at the top, bottom, and, and four along the edges. This top one I'm having some difficulty too. These are rated for a 6.6 .6 foot drop. Um, uh, to do that. They have a built-in screen protector. As you can see, the back is nice and rubberized. 
And then also, these have built-in dust protectors. There's, there's only two cases in the full review uh, that has dust protection. Uh, and so you can see on your speaker there, inside of there, there's uh, like cloth wow, to make sure yeah. that dust can't get in uh, into any of those areas. So this is pretty robust. I this mean, is their most robust. Like the OtterBox or b the ballistic cases, it has a hard shell. A, and then a softer rubber shell for bouncing. Right. Um, it's different to put it in, though. You put it in by opening up this face. Most of them, right. uh, you have to take now it. Now, you can see there's on. something over your uh, your, your touch ID there. Yeah, but it still works. It still I works, it right so there, I yeah. can I can lock it. Uh, also, with this one, I want to point out that the buttons are really, really satisfying, and you feel you know exactly when you hit them. There's no question. Um, there's no question about that at all. Also, and you don't mind the screen because I don't like a screen. So that is a con. So so uh, for the pros and cons, the buttons are fantastic. The fingerprint reader is covered and still works. And this is this one comes with a clip. This is basically if you're a construction worker and you're going right. to be in a dusty environment, um, this is the one you're going to want. There's you know dust over the speaker and everything. This also comes with a clip. It looks ridiculous. The clip is absurd when you put it on. Whoops. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, and especially even when it's off, it's like this just weird wing hanging on your belt. Yeah. But uh, if that's what you need, that's what you need. Uh, for the cons, uh, this screen protector I felt was a little bit foggy and not the best. Um, and I felt like the side clips weren't very satisfying. They felt a little bit insufficient in that you kind of, you know, put your finger underneath it and, and pick it up. I wish that they had some other mechanism to lock this on. I felt like if it hit, uh, it had a hard tumble, the screen might, protector might bop right. off and then the rest of your phone would also just uh, come out as well. So that is the Griffin Survivor All-Terrain in much? the survival. Uh, this The iPhone 6 Plus is $60. Ooh. The iPhone 6 is $50. Ooh. So uh, two different prices for the two different sizes. And buy, try, don't buy. Buy, try, don't buy. I'm going to say if this is what you need, if you need a dust right. protector, it also does rain protection, that sort of thing. Um, I was really impressed uh, with with this one. It, the buttons felt great. The fingerprint sensor still works, and it's fully dust in, in case. So uh, I'm going to say bye for right. the Survivor All-Terrain. Gets the job done anyway. Yep. Moving on to the next in the Survivor series, which is the Survivor Slim. I have a 6 model for oh. you and a 6 Plus model okay. for me. i got to get um, out first. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to race You're way you. way ahead uh, of I'm me. way on ahead that. on this one. All right. So with this, <laughs> get it out of here. We're moving on. So with this series, there is uh, two layers. Or well, they they claim three layers because they also include a screen protector. Oh, good, but you don't have to. Use and you don't have to use it if you don't. Yeah, but don't it, like but uh, if you want, it has a cutout for the for the uh, Touch ID. So um, right. So uh, and so this is one of those with a hard shell and a rubber shell. Right. It gives you the affords you the best protection. I have, but also makes the cases very big. And yes, absolutely. Now this is probably the slimmest out of the big and bulky cases right. because they do some really nice stuff with it by uh, by sort of adding a little yeah. bit of protrusions around. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, there you go. You actually got it in before me. Yeah. Um, uh, by adding those protrusions, it feels like yeah. the edges are really, really well protected, and the and. You know, where you're not really going to hit it so much in the center, but that's also where your hand is going to be. They've done a little bit less protection there, but it makes it feel pretty good in your hand. Uh, this comes in a lot of colors. So if you're off put by the, the, uh, the I think they call it like... It's aqua. aqua. Yeah, te teal or something like that. Um, it's not so good looking. Um, they offer black. They offer more. If, if this this looks, I would say, a little bit feminine. So if you wanted a more manly color, uh, they also oh, I like offer the black those. and orange. That's exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So they offer those as well. I like this because, uh, well, it's a trade off. You don't have as a screen protector, so your screen is exposed. Well, you, you're the offered sure one, looks good. which yeah, is nice. I don't like screen. <laughs> of course. But um, that's going to be a vulnerability, obviously. Right. right. This is also rated for a six point uh, six foot drop. Um, and, um, yeah, and that's it. So pros and cons. For the pros, uh, it still feels a little bit slim mm -hmm. while giving you a lot of protection on the edges. I really like that. Uh, the buttons are also a really good feeling, really satisfying in the button department. Uh, on the cons, uh, there's no fingerprint uh, uh, protector for this uh, in the higher end line of the survival Survivor Series, um, and it is way difficult. We're about ready to experience this both together to get off this inner layer. Uh, not the outer layer. The outer layer's fine, but there's just no way. Once this thing is in here, because this is all one piece, there's nothing to push on. You, you can't push on anything. It is really difficult right. to get that second layer off. And also, this uh, this lock button is really deep inside of, uh, of the I'm case. Not sure I understand. Oh, I'm sorry, Siri. So let me ask you this. Uh, you're also checking... 
the depth of the earphone jack, right? Because yeah. that can be a big problem. And one of the reasons my kids keep taking off the cases is because they want to put their headphones yeah. in there. This will work with your standard uh, Apple headphones. But maybe not some third party. But parties. if it has a much thicker headphone jack, that's right. uh, that's going to be a no-go. Let me try my uh, Shure headphones <laughs> somewhere in here. I have a, I have a bent headphone See, I can jack. tell you right now. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. It's not going to work. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a, that, that so is that's something issue. to keep in mind. And that's a big because con. Because it's so difficult to take the case off, that that's really kind of a showstopper right. if you have. So basically, audio. yeah, yeah, and that was kind of where I was getting with the with the lock with the case on. It's very difficult to get to that lock button. So that's right. also a con. Now we both are going to struggle <laughs> to try to get this. Meanwhile, four hours oh, later. Oh my gosh, this is the most difficult thing ever. So. They should, you know what, oh little God. cutout there would solve this. I know, I know, just, just a it. tiny little cutout. Griffin, you know, version two. And this is where you really start thinking about Ben Gate. And I'm, I'm like trying to really push on the edge. Oh, man, you got yours out. Oh, man. Um, if you want, you can move to the survival core uh, while I try to get my uh, phone where out Where is here. the survival? Ah, here yellow. it is. There you go. This That's is another the one from Griffin. This is more like a bumper case. Here's yours. Uh, that was mine. Yeah, yeah. This is kind ah, of finally. There is a there is a, a plastic screen uh, protector. Right. So oh, no, that's the back. So that's the back. Okay. That's the back. So this, this is, is the easy. survivor you just slide core. That right in there. Yeah. yeah. You. Uh, I've found that. This normally wouldn't in the be bottom. bad because the, the clear back means you kind of still see the nice design. Right. You it's a bumper case that has back protection. So this is the thinnest case that also offers 6.6 .6, uh, mm -hmm. feet of of drop. Obviously, it has no uh, no screen protector, not even included in the box. Mm. Um, this does have reinforced edges, which is pretty nice. Now, one thing I didn't like about this was the buttons. You can try to lock and unlock your phone. And these buttons are a little bit difficult to get at over there on the side. Um, this comes in, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that uh, we're moving back just a little bit. The Survivor Slim case uh, for the Plus, 6 Plus, it was $45. For the six, it was uh, $40. Now, both of these cost the same price at $30, no matter which size and you get. And not very expensive either. Not incredibly expensive. No, I think expensive. that looks okay. Uh, this I really is the like least this one. offensive in terms of uh, aesthetics. This is the one that I use the most yeah. uh, in my testing. I can see why. Um, and you, now, okay, so let's move on to the pros and cons. Uh, pros is that it's the slimmest with a six foot drop. Um, now onto the cons, and, and the price is, is, is pretty good. The cons is that the back became very scratched uh, very oh, quickly uh, because there is no raise. Once you set it on the table, that's it. Yeah. Um, and the buttons were uh, very, very stiff as well. Um, so those were the cons for the Survivor uh, Core um, for the 6 and 6 Plus. What else you got? Okay, so there's a whole lot of these. Oh yeah, so we don't have on. to put them on anymore. Let's just show. Cool. Them. Moving on to the reveal, the reveal for the six and the six this plus. Looks very this similar. Is also by Griffin. This does not now. Now we've moved out of the Survivor series into their other series. So this what is, is that? the. The didn't make it series. Well, it's just you don't might not need that much protection, and so you're getting you're getting a, a case that is it's still a bumper with a clear plastic. This one pad. fits a little bit more snugly around uh -huh. the case or around the phone, I should say. Um, it offers a lot of the same protection that uh, the Survivor Core does, except that this is only rated at a three foot drop. It only adds 1.6 millimeters of thickness, uh, which is less like than. That the uh, Survivor Core. It's always the challenge for me, especially these new iPhones. They're so beautiful. I don't want to disguise the gorgeous design. And I would say if you look at the difference between the back plates of these two, um, uh, this one has sort of a cutout, and this one is right around the 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 camera there. Uh, it still has kind of the same issues of the of the difficult to press buttons, um, but uh, it's not as bad, I would say, as the Survivor Core. So uh, This is called what? Survival Core. Uh, Survivor that's the Survival Core, Core series. The one we're looking at right is now the is the Reveal. The Reveal. So this is the, the the Reveal is a little bit less protective than the Survivor. Right. But, but it's thinner, thinner and looks and less uh, looks better. Yeah. So uh, for the pros, the price, it's only twenty dollars for yeah. either model. Okay. Um, the attention to detail and that you know, and all of these really did this very well. That everything is really nicely cut out and and smoothed over. You're not you're not getting a, a crummy um, case, and also looks good. I feel like this one was one of the best looking cases. For the cons, I didn't like the stiff buttons, and also it has the same issue that the plastic back because it doesn't have any type of feet uh, becomes scratched very very easily.
easily. Oh my gosh. Um, and uh, so that is that issue. Next, we're moving on to the last of the Griffin cases. Hooray! Yeah. The identity, identity series. Identity series, uh, it wow. has There's a, something for everyone in the yep. Griffin line. Uh, the identity series gimmick is that the back plate of it will remove out, so you can switch it out with a different back plate if you want. Uh, I got the all clear version for the 6 Plus. Uh, this comes in at $30 at $29.99. It will withstand a four foot drop. Uh, and it also has a swappable I've back. I've lost mine. For the, no, you didn't get one. They didn't send one for the plus. Oh, okay. um, uh, for the pros, it's customizable, so you can switch out this back if you want. It is customizable, and it looks good. For the cons, it does still have that stiff button issue. Uh, the edges will bend away from the case, so you'll just, like, I'm so ADD. I was just doing this all day long. Um, and the plastic still has that same issue of getting scratched very, very easily. We also looked at the Identity Graphite, which is, uh, I don't have this one here because this is one Eli took and never got back with me uh, with it. So he has it still on his phone. He sent over his notes, though. This one comes in at $35. That's pretty. That's it's pretty. very pretty. This yeah. was the prettiest case we had. And I'm yeah. really upset that I can't show it. The edge of the case has uh, has that sort of graphite feel to it, the um, carbon fiber. Same thing with the back. And just like the Identity Series in total, the back removes uh, so that you can um, switch swap it out. I like the buttons on this one a lot better than I liked it on the all clear version. Um, I like the ability to swap out the backs because right. you can, you know, have different backs for different moods, different times of day. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we are done with all of the Griffin technology right, cases. To Trident. So Trident, we're going to first look at the uh, Perseus series. This is the gel case. We only got this for the six plus. Um, this uh, should cost five dollars. <laughs> this it's a piece of plastic is twenty dollars. Yeah. The same price as the reveal. Wow. So uh, I actually use gel cases in a lot of my phones because you can go on Amazon and buy a no-name right. gel case for nothing. Right. Uh, unfortunately, with this one, I really dislike the buttons. Uh, they're a little bit too stiff. Yeah. It comes in seven different colors. The buttons um, cover. Uh, so, but then and they're all made out of the, the same thing. Has to always be uh, cut out. Right. Yeah. Now, with the uh, easy to get on and off though. With the Trident cases, they all came with a screen protector and microfiber cloth, right. which was kind of a nice add when, say, the reveal or didn't come right. with that. So. Uh, the Trident case does come with a screen protector, a self-adhesive screen protector. Uh, coming in at $20, the pro is that, you know, it's not the most expensive case out there. The con is that I really didn't like the stiff buttons, and to me, the design also didn't really speak to me. Finally, the Cyclops series from Trident. This is another one that we gave to Eli. He's a rough-and-tumble kid. This and is so, military grade. This is military protection. grade. So this has a built-in screen protector, a lot like the uh, all-terrain uh, that okay. we saw from Griffin. Um, it also comes in a variety of different colors. It has a few different pieces. Um, uh, I cannot, for the life of me, remember if this has some sort of protector for the uh, for ID, for the touch ID or not. Um, it will withstand a four foot drop. Uh, it is also dust resistant, a lot like the uh, 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 survival all terrain. Um, but uh, this one comes in at a less expensive price at only $40 for the Cyclops case, and it offers all those things, like a little bit of rain and wind uh, resistance and dust resistance and, and that sort of thing. So that is the Trident uh, Cyclops series for the iPhone 6. This does not, they don't have iPhone 6 Plus models out for the series uh, yet. So, <sighs> finally, the last case now, that we're going to review. Funny, because you don't—I think you don't like this, but this is—I've loved the rock forms for so long. So, uh, hand me your phone. Oh wow! Try to put your phone in that thing. <laughs> uh, it comes out in yeah, three. You gotta take the rubber out first. Three right? different pieces. You put that in yep. first. So you put in your phone first. No problem. That went in nice easy and easy. That's peasy. the rubber. Insert. Absolutely. And then this is going to go. Where does that go? I don't know why that's there, but that's the Yeah, that's confusing. It's oh, no, not it's quite. Right there. No, 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 that's not. So on the back of this aluminum, this is aircraft uh, grade, CNC, grade CNC aluminum. Yeah. You're supposed to line that up with that dot right why there. Why is that? Uh, it's just, that's what you do. And you see oh, your apple. Oh, it gives you some color. Yeah, you, add, you, you see the apple. I see. But now, how are you going to make sure that stays lined right. up while you oh. put that on the back of your phone, Leo? Yeah. Well, you just How's do that, that going to happen? Just do it like that. Because you can't reach your finger through the yeah, phone to make sure that it. Right there, like. Like that and okay you know that's actually good you using gravity using for your gravity is my third hand now they've made that out of cnc um aluminum the back of that uh it doesn't bend you have to make sure that you're pushing your case up not against the phone not the phone and you don't bend the phone so 
this big piece, the main piece it's here. Move no, just a little bit closer it, into the it, camera I here. Got it, I got it. It's gonna, um, go, it's gonna go. I got you're it. You're sure? Mind. I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's uh, it, and then uh, I was gonna let you put that on and then have fun Trying spending to take it off? fifteen minutes to get that thing off. So the thing I like about rock form and they <laughs> don't do on this case, which is in the past rock forms have had a little uh, compatible uh, connector on the back. Yes. Let you put a, a thing on your dashboard. Yes, and, and they do still of offer that. I would recommend that. Over we this. don't. This is not. Great. This isn't the only case that doesn't. Um, doesn't that, do for it. the iPhone six yeah. that doesn't have that. In fact, I was a big fan of the Rockform because of the nice materials they use, but mostly because of that functionality. Right. Which is missing on this one. So I'm I'm thinking this isn't. And plus. You're right. I, ridiculous. It's ridiculously difficult to get that on. And once we finally, we got it onto Jeff's phone, it took me 15 minutes to get it off of his phone. Oh, no problem. I, I finally had to use a key to wedge in between the uh, the case and the phone, which is incredibly disconcerting yeah. uh, when you're doing that. So Thanks for letting me know. Ahead uh, of time. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, also, uh, so the pros, it looks but this amazing. This is robust. And it does it's look super good. robust. It looks really good. But for the cons is that it's really difficult to get on and off. The back plate is really difficult to align. Yeah. And the buttons, try hitting your power button and volume up buttons. They're super difficult. Oh, yeah. It's super yeah. difficult yeah, yeah. to use. So I would just say that's just really bad design. So don't buy on the rock form. That's an $80 case right there. So wow. close. Yeah. Military grade, though. Military grade. And that is it for the Did marathon. Do you have one that you would recommend out of all this bunch? Uh, out of all these phones, I was really delighted with the uh, with the reveal uh, and the uh, core, uh, the uh, Survivor Core series, um, because both of these looked really good, um, and they all had really good attention to detail, and their price was pretty competitive. <laughs> I think you're going to need some metal me. device, some metal device to get your case. Doesn't come with your a phone special. out of that case. Nope. Device detection. And I also don't know if they just sent us a review unit. There was like no instructions. It just was flopping around in this box. It just did, it did not feel like a very Callie good product. Callie Lewis had already reviewed it. They just apparently, it apparently. Afterwards. So, um, I would suggest either the uh, the reveal or the uh, the survivor um, core for the cases. And this one said this claim. They claim I didn't. And that's one thing is I didn't actually drop my phone's. Uh, on the on these, I only had one phone, and it's my actual phone. You weren't gonna drop it. Up I wasn't gonna drop it. So this yeah. one's rated for six feet, which is uh, the same amount of uh, of footage as the other in the survival series. And I think we saved people eighty bucks on the rock form. Yes, but I would look at the other rock forms. In fact, maybe we'll do another review. Right. Of the ones when we get them I, in, that attachment system is great. You have a magnet. I used to stick it to the refrigerator. You have a little knob you could put on your dashboard, and the phone just attaches to the dashboard. Uh, but this does not do that, and it is, you're right, very hard to put on. Most likely we're going to have a part two of this in a few weeks when a lot of the other case uh, reviewer or case creators uh, get in their cases. But for now... Mother's Day. We have all Mother's the cases. Day. We Birthdays. have reviewed them. Just so. save those all. You have gifts galore. Or you could send mom flowers from the book. From the book? The book. There are mountain flowers. They're actually... The book's flowers grow on a volcano in South America. These, uh, there are roses, there are lilies, there are daisies. If you go to T-H-E-B-O-U-Q-S dot com, you could take a look at the book's bouquets. Let's get it. Book is short for bouquet. Ooh. Book. A. And they are beautiful. If you've ever ordered flowers online, chances are, you, you know, you've been burned. You get to the end of the checkout and it's $100 shipping, yeah. right? Or they, uh, they go, try oh, to Oh, did you want a box you? to ship yeah, with that? Yeah, do you want a chocolate-covered strawberry to throw in there? Uh, and worst of all, what shows up doesn't look like what you see on the screen. Well, that's not the Books. The Books is changing the way you order flowers online. They take it. They simplified it. They're beautiful flowers, a great price. And, yes, they come direct from that sustainable, eco-friendly farm on an active volcano in South America. <laughs> Tell mom these are volcano flowers. It's 10,000 feet above sea level, and actually it's a great place to grow these beautiful blooms because more sun means more color. They're fed by volcanic snow melt, mineral-rich soil up there. They're, this actually is heaven. It's paradise for flowers. The books will cut your flowers the day you order them, ship them straight to the farm. They're very fresh, and they last a long time. They're all backed by the books. Happiness guarantee. I think we got, like, weeks out of our book. You could also, <laughs> is that what you call it, a book? 
Your book from the books. You can also sign up for the books concierge service. And this is what I think somebody like you, Chad, they will automatically deliver flowers on birthdays, anniversaries, or just oh my gosh, Mother's Day. You don't have to think about it again. Mom's birthday. You don't. My have to mom think will think I'm so thoughtful. She'll think you're very thoughtful. That's and no, great. it's just the books. Best of all, the pricing is up front. You know what you're paying. The checkout process is painless, and there's no last-minute upsell. You're going to get 15% off your first order when you visit thebooks.com slash twit, T-H-E-B-O-U-Q-S dot com slash twit. Make sure you use the offer code twit at checkout. Plus, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Thebooks.com slash twit. Use the offer code twit, and you never have to think of mom again. Wait a minute. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> uh, actually, these are beautiful. Well, she'll think of you. Flowers. Beautiful flowers from the books. All right, get this out. Of you here. get what? Oh God! Oh no! Get this out of here! Oh God! Clear off the table. <laughs> Jeez. I got something important to show you, and it ain't an iPhone. It's I. You know, I don't want a case on the new Moto X because the Moto Maker is back. This was the phone of the year, I thought last year. Uh, the Motorola X. Um, the Moto Maker feature was really cool. You go to motomaker.com and design your own phone. They had wooden backs, they had plastic backs, and now they've got leather backs. This is the Cognac leather back. And it's it's beautiful Horween leather. Horween is one of the last tanneries in the United States in Chicago. And they this is gonna, you know, it's already got you know, I've had I took it to London, I've had it for a while. It's starting to get a little bit of a nice fit. That is cool. It's like your your wallet. It just starts to show its age. It is beautiful. You won't want to put a case on uh, on your uh, Moto X phone. Now, the things I didn't... I don't remember what my code is. <laughs> the things I didn't like about last year's Moto X uh, were twofold. First of all, it was a perfect size, 4.7 inches, but a less than perfect 720p screen. M also, the camera, uh, let's face it, was terrible. Um, so I was hoping the new Moto X, they would improve those two things, and indeed they did. This is a 1080p screen now. And it is 5.2 inches. Actually, I'm a little less satisfied with that. I really like 4.7 inches. Uh, this iPhone is a 4.7 inch iPhone. It just fits a little bit better in the hand. This is a little stockier, a little wider. Uh, on the other hand, at 1080p, it is, it is a gorgeous Super AMOLED uh, screen. So you get really rich colors. Um, and the camera is much better. 13 megapixel shooter. I took a lot of pictures in London. It's not iPhone quality still. I have to say, nothing's better than the iPhone as far as I'm concerned. But it's okay. It's certainly a lot better than the original Moto X. Price is good, too. They offer versions from all the carriers, subsidized, as always. But you can also go and get uh, one unlocked, which this was. Uh, that way you can use it uh, with any carrier, T-Mobile, AT&T. Um, but uh, the price is a, is a little steeper than, say, a, a Nexus phone. It's $500 for the 32 gigabyte version and by the way that's the top amount of memory you can get is 32 gigs no sd card slot for expansion no removable battery what you see is what you get the thing that people really liked about moto x that i really liked about moto x was the fact that you could talk to it it has a separate chip that's always listening so i can say okay moto x and nothing will happen wow that's um, hey okay now, google moto x well you hey can, hey Go moto x hey, hey. you know Okay, forget it. I don't like it. So, uh, <laughs> no, I, that the really last is a great... time you had one, it wouldn't shut up. It's, it went it, off in your it pocket. Is, and... it, look, we know from Hey Siri too. This yes. is an imperfect process. Uh, and uh, wow, it was working better before. Maybe because I have the earpiece here too. And I'll, I'll explain the Moto hint in a second because that will, of course, become your microphone when you put it in. Um, on the pros and cons, I do really like the design. I love the leather back. Moto Maker is a really good idea. I wish more. Oh, carriers cool. yeah would uh, adopt this more phone manufacturers would adopt this it's pretty much pure google i'm actually not demonstrating at its best because i've got a, a launcher i'm using the apex launcher but so let's let's go to the google now launcher which is the stock launcher with it and uh, and you'll see it's very much a pure uh, google phone with a few motorola extensions particularly that motorola connect uh which allows you let me let me launch the connect here and uh, show you it allow oh yeah have to reuse, relearn how I uh, do this. <laughs> Launchers, yeah. Um, the the Connect will allow you to. Oh, this is actually not what I want. I'm sorry. They've changed it now to Moto. Let's go here. The Moto app will allow. Now it's working. Thank you very much. <laughs> will allow you to do a few things that are really uh, great. It'll listen and respond. 
Maybe I maybe I reprogrammed this. Do you think forgot. it was your different launcher and it wasn't listening? Um, oh, I did. I changed it. Oh. Let's try it again. The one thing, and this is true about uh, I found with the Siri uh, launcher, the more syllables, the more likely you will not, you'll get false positives. You'll accidentally trigger it. So I actually made it longer. Wake up, Moto X. Wake up, Moco, Moto. Hey, wake up, Moto X. Wake Hippopotamus up. Hippopotamus monstrous quipidelophobia, Moto X. Wake up, Moto X. Um, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it looks uh, it's such stunning a good demo. <laughs> But that, that's actually the problem I have with a lot of these things. Now, once you wake it up, there's lots of things you can do. You could say, for instance, take a selfie, uh, and it will give you a countdown, three, two, one, and take the front camera picture. Um, you could say, what's up? It'll tell you the time, upcoming appointments, incoming texts, that kind of thing. You can have the assist tell you, uh, do things differently. When you're at home, for instance, you can have assist set up to say, hey, uh, your daughter's calling. Would you like to answer? It will read you texts and say, would you like to reply? Similarly, with driving, you can reject all texts if you wish, but you can also have the text read to you and respond to them without touching the screen at all. I use sleep all the time. It doesn't go on. It doesn't make any noise. It doesn't buzz, vibrate, or bumble uh, in the middle of the night because I've told it I'm sleeping. And when somebody texts me in the middle of the night, it will send them a text saying, I'm sleeping, but uh, leave a message. Oh, nice. And I'll call you back. So I really like these features. Motorola's added a new feature on this. This has a now, unlike the original Moto X, a metal trim around the edge, and that's the antenna. And they've actually dedicated a chip. According to iFixit, it's a chip normally used as a capacitance sensor. It knows where your fingers are and tunes the antenna so that oh. you don't have an <laughs> antenna gate ty uh, type of problem. It actually uh, works really well. You're, you're, you're in the middle of a I'm call. In the middle. Hello, whoever I'm talking to. Let me just hang up on that. Um, yeah, thank you, Moto X. <laughs> so, no, it does actually work better. I'm not sure why it's not working now, but it, but like all these voice-activated things, it's it isn't perfect. You're and still frankly, in the call. One second, let me just. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not talking. To I sir, I heard someone say hello. Hello. Like, you can see the the call uh, icon. Uh, goodbye. And, Who did I call? Hang up. Hit hang up. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 stock, uh, stock, pretty much stock Android means that it's going to get the uh, L update very quickly. Motorola also promises an update to the radios, and this was a little caveat. Uh, I did put a T-Mobile SIM in this. I'm using it with T-Mobile and hope to use it in London. Uh, but unfortunately, even though T-Mobile offers free text, phone calls, and data as you travel internationally, this didn't have the right radios for England. Uh, they haven't turned on all the radios, but apparently they're there. And Motorola says, we're going to do an update that will turn on those radios. So uh, if you plan to use this internationally, I'd wait until that update comes out. You know, on the pro side, I love the design. Uh, the new screen is very nice. The camera is better. Not great, but better. They, they did fix that problem, and I'm glad, I'm glad that they did. Uh, the cons, as you can see, some of the features that they're really touting, like the always listening, don't work all the time. And that's, that can be a little bit annoying. Uh, the price is not as low as it will be, and this is something they did also with the original Moto X. They they charged a full price for what was, frankly, less than a flagship phone last year, uh, and then slowly lowered the price over the lifetime of the phone down to what I think is, a, is an appropriate uh, price. I presume they'll do the same thing, but right now, uh, fully loaded with a nice leather back, which costs 25 bucks extra, and 32 gigs of RAM, it's, uh, it's close to $500, so... Uh, but the Mono Maker's fun, and you can really get the phone that looks exactly like you want it to look. Uh, I have to say, I'm going to give this a do not buy, because while I like many of these oh, features... Wow. Oh, one more, one more thing I should mention. The battery life is disappointing. Uh, it's not much better than the original battery life on last year's Moto X. And because you have a higher resolution screen, I, I'm not surprised. It's not a very... It's a, it's a medium-sized... Uh, I think it's 2,800 or 2,900 milliamp hours, which for this size phone and this size screen is probably not adequate. I'm getting about 12 hours of battery life. Wow. And that is not enough as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I really I really want 16 hours minimum. Yeah, so I'll get I through a whole day day. and still have 30% yeah, battery the life. The iPhone is quite iPhone. amazing. They've really improved battery life. This is a, a, a sluggard. You, if, you, if, if you always have it plugged in, maybe that's not a problem. Or, you know, you can bring it to work and plug it in. It's not a problem. But I got to tell you... Uh, Traveling around uh, London by evening, it was done. Yeah. That's no good. Well, that's bad. So uh, I don't recommend this phone. I have to say it's a little bit of a disappointment, mostly because there are better Android phones out there. Even the OnePlus One at uh, about a third the cost is a much better phone with a nice screen and much better battery life. 
Um, gosh, I really wanted to love the Moto X. I really did. I loved the first edition. Um, but they haven't made it good enough. And frankly, the lack of battery life is a killer. I do like the Moto 360. Remember, I reviewed that. Mm -hmm. And it will use the Moto X. But the Moto 360 works with any Android phone in almost exactly the same way. Motorola also released, announced uh, an earpiece, a Bluetooth earpiece. They call the Motorola Hint. And what's nice about the Hint is you can get a back that matches your phone. You see the brown leather back that matches. So when I put it in the ear, you'll notice something immediately about the Motorola Hint. It matches your phone. Not only oh, that it matches no. your phone and it looks like I have a gauge in my ear, but it's tiny and there is no visible microphone. Um, the tininess means you don't have great battery life. About three hours of talk time. Uh, but it comes with this, uh, you know, carrying case, which has a battery in it as well, mm -hmm. and will recharge it three times. So the idea is you drive to work with this in there, and then you and then you put it in here. You and take it out and don't use it. And you don't use hopefully it. Hopefully you'll remember it again, right after it's done, right. then you put it back in your right. ear. And, then and there is a negative on this that when it's charging, a very bright white light pulses the entire time. So it's not suitable for the bedroom, Yeah, which kind of is a problem too. I don't want this in my bedroom because it keeps me up at night. Um, the Hint is designed to uh, work with, any, it's really a Bluetooth headpiece that will work with any phone, even the iPhone, but has some special features that work with the Moto X. It understands the always listening feature of Moto X. And in fact, it's kind of neat because you don't have to uh, touch the headset. You can touch it to trigger Siri, for instance, if you're using an iPhone. But if you're using a Moto X, you just say, wake up, Moto X. And it won't wake up the phone, but it's supposed to. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I, I, I moved it. That's moved, cool. Yeah. By the way, this is another new thing on the Moto X, is it has infrared sensors in the corners. So in the past, the active display would pulse time and notifications. Now it just sits there passively until you pass your hand over it. That's cool. And it, and it says that what the time is and if you have any notifications. That's an improvement. Uh, the hint, however, uh, terrible microphone in your ear. So <laughs> I, I've called people and they go, what the hell? I can't hear you. Oh, that's because I'm talking to you through my ear. It also uh, doesn't work very well with the wake-up command. That's not great. I, you have to say it three or four times. It is uh, can go in either ear, which is kind of nice. Um, and when you and it's ear, it's got an ear sensor. I don't know if it's infrared or if it's darkness or what, but it knows when it's in your ear and turns on. It's a tiny on. little theremin in there. It's a little thing that goes, Whoa, and it knows when you're, it's in your ear and it knows when it's not. So when you put it in your ear, it wakes up and it turns on and plays a little music and says, I'm on, and you have how much battery time you have left. Moto Hint connected, three hours, almost, more than three hours of battery life, or talk time, I guess they call it. So 150 bucks. Pros and cons. Looks good. Small. It's in control and out of sight. Uh, cons. It's really, really expensive. Uh, it isn't better than any other, particularly better than any other Bluetooth headset. You can get one for a third the price that works. You can just get a as Moto well. G for that price. Yeah, just as much as a phone. Uh, and you look kind of like a dork, frankly, walking around with uh, your giant earbud. If Scarlett Johansson's voice were on here, maybe, but this is a do not buy. So, unfortunately, of the trio, the Moto X phone, the Moto Hint, and the Moto 360 watch, this is the only part I'm going to keep, unfortunately. The rest of it, um, I'm sorry to say, is and this has, it's not a winner. I thought that was a home button. That This is two yeah, speakers. Yeah, well, they they're not even speakers, okay? What? They look like they've got speakers at the front. This one's a speaker. This one uh, doesn't do I think it's the microphone for the It doesn't do anything. Right. One speaker. Two speaker grills. You figure it out. Yeah. Uh, also, a ring uh, uh, flash, which is doesn't really <laughs> do anything. But, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm sad because I really wanted to love the Moto X. I really did. But it's just a disappointment. And the hint is a definite new not buy. Too expensive. Does too little. Uh, and it's going to, I'm going to lose it. Doesn't do it I'm well gonna, either. Doesn't do what it does. Doesn't do well. But this is kind of cool. Look, it goes right in there, and it charges it, <laughs> and then you just let it sit there. Like I don't know that. why. It's just funny. It's like, this is kind of cool. Because of the huge downfall of only three hours battery <laughs> life, they give you a, a carrying What would you expect? It's That's the size of neat. a dime. Uh, all right. There you go. Do not buy in the Moto X and do not buy in the Hint. That's sad. That makes me sad. I wanted more. This is probably the last product from Motorola as a Google company. Lenovo will be taking them over soon well that does it for a long before you buy lots of iphone cases thank you chad johnson no mike elgin thank you for the headphone review thanks to joanne tech lover we'll see more of you too uh, thanks to you for joining us we make each and every one of these review reviews available in several different ways of course you can go to the website 
twit.tv slash BYB and download the whole show. We take individual reviews and put them on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash before you buy, so you can share them with friends. Uh, but you can also subscribe and get the whole show in uh, your favorite podcast application like iTunes or Xbox Music or Podcatcher, Instacast, Dogcatcher, all of those. Uh, you can also watch uh, live. We do it every right after Security Now, uh, every Tuesday afternoon on Twitter. TV. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. And remember, you gotta watch before you buy. I wish I had. We'll see you next time. <laughs>